Welcome back with Darlings. Uh, today's video is all going to be about cutting on a DA. So cutting polishes and what different pads can do to help you get the results. So, you see my van seems to have been driven through a hedge rather than just down the side of one. Uh, so I've got some lovely, relatively deep, big scratches to polish out. This is exactly the sort of thing that a cutting compound is perfect for. So the cutting compound is going to be Meguiar's 105. It's not a particularly modern compound, but it's still a very effective one. Uh, and then the thing that's going to vary between them all is the process taken to attack them. So first up, I'm going to use a purple foamed wool pad from Lake Country. It's the thin one, which is designed for the dual action polisher. Then I'm going to use, compare the results from that to the Chemical Guys Hexlogic Foam Cutting Pad, widely regarded as a very good one. I, I like it, it's good, good res uh, results. Then I'm going to do another section where I am going to wet sand it. Now this is a 2500 grit wet sanding little pad on my mini DA. And then I will blend that out using a 3000 grit uh, Roots um, 75 mil pad on a hand puck, just to blend out the area so it's not so obvious. Um, and then we're going to see what the results are like. So I'm going to do it off in sections. I'm going to do the first bit I'll do with the foam, uh, the wall foamed wall. Then I will do um, the foam and then I'll do the wet sanding bit. Now the wet sanding bit I will polish out probably with the foam because I expect the wall to give the best results in a single cut, a single pass, a single attempt. Um, but I find this far easier to work with. It's more flex in the pad. Uh, but because the sanding will take out most of the um, deep marks, this will, uh, this will be sufficient. Alright, so into time lapse and let's watch. Hopefully, that plane has a ruin the audio. So it's pretty obvious there's been some reduction in scratches. The main thing to do now, take the tape off, quick IPA wipe down, just remove any polish residue that could be filling and see which has given us the best results.
nice liberal amount on there. Let's get any of the polish residue off the plastics while I'm here. No need to leave a mess. Let's wipe down, let's let that just evaporate off. Let's see. While we're waiting for that to happen, um, I don't know how easy it's all I've got, but the wet sanding is super easy. And it, it's polished it out, no problem at all. No, I'm just trying to see a spot and area. Yeah, I'm going to move you down to an angle that I'm at down here, because I can literally see the difference in the the gradients of the scratch and it has disappeared where I wet sanded it and I, you didn't see I saw I didn't do much did I at all so uh, A wet sanding fantastic but B let me move you down here so you can see it better. Alright so firstly this is proving pretty difficult to capture but I'm giving it a go. Um, this is the bit that was cut with the wool pad and it's still it's better but it's not brilliant there's still lots there. This was the foam here and you can still see there's a bit there i was actually surprised that the foam cut better than the wall um so that's a good thing to learn I, i've always liked the um chemical guys uh yellow hex logic cutting pad it is a good pad anyway well regarded regardless but it is you can see it it cuts very well but look here the scratch stops and this was the area that's wet sanded it's gone completely I think it's incredible, wasn't it? But that shows you the power of very little bit of wet sanding with a light cutting polish. Now, on a silver vehicle like this, you, you still want to refine it further. You can one step over this. One step would probably take out that sanding as well because it's only 3,000 grit at the end of it. Um, but you can see the clarity you've got back into the paint just from that. Now, on other colored cars, you definitely need to refine the finish. So you can either one step and get a decent clarity or you could cut and then um, go off with a with a finishing polish afterwards which I'm going to one step after this but I'm going to use a less aggressive pad I use the chemical guys hexologic green pad with um, some SSR poor boys SSR 2.5 so which is their one step polish that will give you loads of clarity on this afterwards but great work I found another really deep scratch over here now this is deeper than these ones so it's going to need a bit more sanding and it won't disappear as much but another one to demonstrate the power of wet sanding so put you over to that one and uh, let's see the results we can get from there there we have it uh, great results significantly reduced um, it, it's still visible yeah it's a deep scratch you're not going to get rid of it but you're going to make it look a lot better and you're going to barely see it especially when this has got a nice uh, coating on top of it it'll be really really difficult to spot so job well done there I'm really pleased with the results from that I hope you learned something I hope it's interesting to you to see uh, something in practice rather than just in theory and in practice on a real vehicle rather than on a test panel uh, yeah so the next video I think on the channel is most likely going to be the rest of the van going through its wash and uh, paint decon and polishing phase before it gets sign risen. So that's the next exciting step and that's the job I've got on for today. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.